There are two Pekka Berries. Would you like to pick them? So there we go. We got two Pekka Berries. Put the Pekka Berries in your pocket. Okay, the soil turned to its earthly state. Okay, you cannot pick two Chesto Berries. Okay, there we go. Good, okay, so we can get some berries from those trees now, I guess, but... Anyway, hello, Sugiri Master, we're already playing some more of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, and in the last episode, we defeated Commander Mars of Team Galactic, and uh, now we're going to be um, going to Eterna City for our next gym battle, for our second gym badge. So, yeah, but, uh, looks like, um, on the way, we're gonna have a, probably a bunch of Pokemon battles. Hopefully, maybe have one of our Pokemon evolve... And catch us a, a bunch of Pokemon. So here we are run into a wild Shellos. And I don't think we've caught a Shellos yet. So let's try and catch this Shellos right now. N nice way to start off the episode, right? So let's try to see. I think uh, I think Shellos is like a water type, right? I'm just trying to remember what it, what, what it is. So I think okay, let's just attack it with fire because we don't want our attack to be effective because we're catching it. If, we, if it faints, then we can't catch it. So we want to catch it and use the very ineffective attacks like ember on a water pokemon it's like fire on water that's yeah water would defeat fire so we're using fire on it but yeah fire has actually damaged it actually a good amount and now it's already at half health so let's uh catch it now with the po with the pokeball so there we go all right so there we go I, and it's I'm it's probably gonna be caught. I think it's caught. Yeah, it's a, if it's at half health, yeah, it should be caught. There we go. Nice way to start off the episode. One Pokemon already caught. So this is good. Uh, let's see how. What, what is Shellos' Shel Shel uh, stats? Like, uh, what what moves does it have? I saw I saw it has a uh, like the uh, like Water Gun and Mud Slap. Yeah, so it also has Harden. So yeah, the the ground type move might actually be helpful for this gym battle coming up. Although it is at a low level, but I mean, adding it to our party would help it uh, in, like in, increase its level. So I think I'll add it to our party. Actually, yeah. Like um, I don't know who I would get. Maybe maybe I should get rid of Rivali. Maybe I can put Rivali to a box. Rivali. I mean, he has like a ghost type, but. I don't know. I've never found Rivali to be effective. Like, I, whenever I use him, he's not really helpful. So, I'm gonna get rid of Rivali. I don't think Rivali has anything for me to offer, and I, I just feel like I, 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 sh I really should get rid of Sidon, but he can evolve into a Gyarados at level 20, so I want to keep him. Um, so yeah, we'll get rid of Rivali. So there we go. Rivali's gone. We got a Shellos, and we've. Uh, uh, encountered a, a, a hiker who wants to battle. So there we go. Let's battle. First battle today. Alright. Let's use Mock Punch. There we go. It has not defeated him yet. Opponent's attack rose. And now you're going to use Defense Curl on me. Is this battle going to be easy or difficult? It's, I mean, most battles are easy. Let's make this a good battle for the first battle of the day. Of the, of the episode, not in the whole game. I mean, the, just just the first episode. I mean, just this episode. I haven't had a Pokemon battle this episode, but first battle this episode. Uh, there we go. So there we go. So far, it's pretty easy, but I think he'll probably have another Pokemon ready for us, right? Yeah, yeah, he's got my chop. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to keep my career Pokemon. I feel like I can do this. All right, my chop. What have you got? Show me what. Show me your moves. Let's see. Can you handle another fighting attack? I mean, Machop's a fighting type Pokemon. And he just got annihilated by a fighting type move. That's embarrassing for Machop. That's not good for him. It's good for us. He's gonna send out another Geo dude. I'm just gonna keep my current Pokemon. Just use more fighting type moves like Mach Punch and Power Up Punch. A lot of punches. Yeah, let's do power up punch now because power up punch increases our attack power. So there we go. Yeah, we did power up punch, and our attack has uh, rose. Geo dude fainted. Is that the end, or is there more? Is there more to this battle? Is that it? And no, he has Bidoof. 
or Bidoof. I don't know. I think it might, it might I mean, I think it's Bidoof, but it might be Bidoof. Don't really know. Uh, let's choose Mock Punch. Okay. Nice. He's gone. Okay. Bidoof fainted. Okay. Everyone's leveling up. And we have defeated this Pokemon trainer. There we go. So, we are now going to get some money for winning. So, we can use that on, like, certain, like, you know, potions and stuff that we can, you know, you know, get in, like, the different Pokemon stores and stuff. Uh, but, okay. Th oh, we haven't actually seen this Pokemon before. This is, a uh, Boizel. Okay. All right. I have actually, uh, we haven't caught this Pokemon yet. So... Let's uh let's fight this guy. I think he's a water type. Yeah, Ember's not very effective on him, so there we go. Okay, there we go. But we can catch him now and let's see what his moves are. Cause yeah, I mean I mean I guess a water type wouldn't be too helpful at the moment. But when we like go to the fire type gym, that could be helpful. So yeah, let's catch him with a Pokeball. Let's see what he has. I mean I could I mean I I also have a Gyarados I could use in that fire type gym battle but you know it's always good to have extras shellos is another water pokemon i have i actually have a lot of water pokemon but why not have another one i'm preparing in advance just ca I'm, I'm just catching every new pokemon i see because yeah he is a water type pokemon i am not going to give it a nickname and i'm going to see his moves Okay, uh, he just has normal types? Okay, he is going to a box. I don't want to use him. He literally only has normal type moves. He has not learned a single water type move yet. Yeah, I don't like guys. I don't like fighters or Pokemons, Pokemon who do not have any move except normal type moves. I don't like them. The only reason why I kept Sidon is because he will evolve into a powerful Pokemon. So that's why I'm, I'm keeping him to level up. But you know what? I'm actually going to get rid of Sidon just for a little while because he's just sitting there and not really doing much good. So <laughs> I'm just going to like actually put him in my box and I'm going to put Starly back because I got rid of Starly. And I want Starly back because Starly is um is almost about to evolve. Like he will evolve very soon. I think it's at level 14 that he can evolve. So he's about to evolve. He's at level 12, so he can evolve really soon. So I just want to keep him and wait till he evolves into Staravia. And okay, so we just picked a bunch of berries from some trees. Um, and oh, here's a Pokemon battle. Okay. All right, there's a Shinx we're fighting. Okay, Thundershock that it just used on me. Okay, I'm paralyzed. All right, well, he's about to be defeated if I could use another Mach Punch. Nice. Nice, Shinx fainted. Now there's Pachirisu coming. Let's use a Power Up Punch. Oh, no, you're going first, okay. Oh no, I can't move, seriously? All right, you know what? Okay, I'm just gonna do it. Use, I'm gonna use a Paralyzed Heal. I have three Paralyzed Heals. I'm gonna use a Paralyzed Heal on um, Epona. Yeah, just use a Paralyzed Heal. There we go, Curative Paralysis. Okay, you're using a bunch of Quick Attacks, although it, luckily it's not hurting me too much. Now let's use a Effective Power Up Punch. Nice, okay, good. Now our attack is rising. And, okay, he's going to growl, so that's going to lower our defense. Oh, no, our attack. Okay, so it's lowering our attack, unfortunately. Okay, lowering our uh, attack again. <laughs> All right, well, let's find out. Let's use Ember to finish it off. Yeah, boom. Pachiriso, you are gone. You're defeated. And, okay, Starly's at level 13, so he's, like, almost there. Just a little bit more. He can make it. Starry, Star, Starly can make it. I know he can do it. He can do it. He will get it soon. He will make it. Okay. We can do this. Okay, there we go. We just defeated this Pokemon trainer. I just edited out the scene for time purposes. Um... But yeah, and yes, Starly's evolving! Yay! Yay, he's evolving to, to uh, Staravia! 
Yes, this is why I, I, I wanted to put Starly back in my party, because look at him now. He's Staravia. He evolved into Staravia. He's no longer Starly. He's Staravia. Yes. A normal flying type. Very nice. All right. And, okay, immediately right off the bat. About, okay, no, but, not, not, okay. I was hoping that this would be like a battle worth my time, like a new Pokemon we haven't seen yet, but nope. It's another Shellos. I already have a Shellos. I don't need two Shelloses. If I see a Pokemon I already have, I'm not gonna go and battle it because it's, it's you know, it's a waste of time. Like, I have literally, I have not moved, like, at, like, I've just barely moved this entire episode. There's just battles here and there. I cannot move anywhere. There's so many battles that I cannot even move a good distance. Like, there's just so many battles here. That's why, that's why I'm editing out some of these battles, because there's just so many right now. Like, I cannot get past all of them. Um, yeah, there's just so many, but... Okay, so Machop is using focus energy. I've never understood what focus energy is. Like, I was like, okay, he's using focus energy, but what is focus energy? It's saying that Machop is getting pumped, but what does it, what does it mean to get pumped? So, like, I don't understand how, it doesn't mean he's getting stronger. Like, why don't you just say his attack was, is rising or something? You know, like, what do you mean he's getting pumped? I don't understand what focus energy really is. I mean, I think, I, I, I think, I maybe it's attack up, maybe it's defense up, maybe it's both, I don't know. They don't really explain that. But okay, anyway. I won the Pokemon battle. Got some money for winning. There we go, very nice. And we found a Repel! Okay, I don't think we've seen that yet. That's cool, we got that now. And, um... Okay, what's in this, what's in that house? Actually, no, before I go there, yeah, Super Potion, yes! Yes, I've been waiting to get a Super Potion. I need Super Potions. Super Potions are really effective to restore Pokemon's health. That's really good. Uh, yeah, okay, now, now in this house, actually, I, oh, right, I think this house you can actually uh, heal your Pokemon, right? Pretty sure, yeah, um, rest a while, yeah, so they, they make me rest, but my Pokemon also get rest, right? And then their health is back up. Yeah, yeah, we're we're back, we're back. Yeah, okay, there we go. All right, we're now we're powerful now. We're we're rested. We're well rested. Okay, you wanna have a who I wanna have a battle? Okay, all right, get ready to fight my very well rested Pokemon. <laughs> They're very well rested. Your Piplup stands no chance. He's gonna be defeated by my opponent. Well, my actually Monferno. I mean, he's actually a Monferno, but I nicknamed him Epona. But he's actually really called Monferno. So my Monferno is gonna destroy your Piplup. Yes, look at me, my attack's rising again. All right, you're gonna hit me back. Well, I'm gonna hit you again with my Mach Punch. Boom! And your Piplup has fainted. Sorry, but it fainted. So there we go. And anything else in this area? Okay, that's it. So I think now, yeah, we have to go in the forest. Yes, okay, okay. And this tree can be cut down with a hidden move. Okay, that's gonna be with a hidden move, which we'll get from the gym leader. Uh, many poison type Pokemon making this uh, Eternal Forest. Okay, you didn't get any antidote. Hold on, do I have antidotes? Cause like if my Pokemon get poisoned, yeah, okay, I have antidotes, okay. All right, yeah, so this is the forest. So we're gonna find the character that that's gonna accompany us throughout the forest. And yeah, this is the character right here. So, hello, my name is Cheryl and yours, oh, your name is Link. I'm sincerely glad to meet you. Thank you. Link, may I ask you a big favor? Okay. I want to get through this forest, but I'm afraid of doing it alone. Okay, so you're saying, I've heard that there's a sinister group of people called Team Galactic. Okay. I think there will be safety in numbers. Please, can I, may I go with you? You decided to go with Cheryl. Okay, Cheryl, well, just don't, like, interfere with what I'm doing. So, when I first played this game, what happened, um, was, uh, 
Yeah, I was trying to catch some Pokemon, okay? And then I was trying to catch them, right? So you can't hurt them too much. And she killed, she made the Pokemon faint. And then I couldn't catch the Pokemon. So now I kind of don't really like Cheryl now because she like, like interferes with what I do in this game, <laughs> catching Pokemon and stuff. So, you know, I don't really like Cheryl for that reason because she doesn't, it's hard for me to catch Pokemon now. So yeah, but I'm going to try to deal with her. And so, yeah, so, the, so yeah, there's a Baneri and a Boodoo that we can get, and there, and I haven't gotten any of them yet, so I want to catch them, but I can only catch one at a time, so we have to defeat one of them and then catch the other one, so I'm going to catch Boodoo first, and then if we can find another Baneri, then I'll catch the Baneri, and okay, so, okay, so Geodude wants to learn a move, let's just get rid of Harden, and now we can learn uh, Rock Throw, okay. Yeah, Geodude has all Rock moves now. Okay, so Chansey's using Disarming Voice. Okay, good. That, that, luckily, that didn't hurt Boodoo too much. So that's a good thing. Boodoo used Stun Spore on Chansey. Yeah, her Chansey's mainly, like, has a lot of health, but not so much powerful. Which is good, because, like, Nintendo doesn't want Chansey to be powerful if you're trying to catch Pokemon. But, she like, if the, the Pokemon's, like, at almost, like, defeated... She could act. She could actually like. I mean, it's very rare that she does that because it's it's hard to do that. But I mean, Nintendo purposely gave her a Chansey because they didn't want Chansey to be so powerful because then the player can't catch any Pokemon. But yeah, she still could accidentally kill uh, the uh, Pokemon. So yeah, you got to be careful about that. But so far, she hasn't done anything too bad yet. So now we can, I guess, pa catch Boodoo. So there we go. She hasn't interfered. We have successfully. Caught Boodoo. So there we go. We caught him. Let's see. What type of moves do we, does he have? I mean, he's a grass type. So, yeah. I'm, I mean, he's not going to help us in the gym battle because the gym battle is a grass type gym battle. So, grass against grass. I don't know. I wouldn't count on that. So, that's not going to be helpful. Okay. These people want to have a battle. All right. Sure. So, yeah. She's helpful. I mean, she's not really all that helpful in the battles either. Like, she doesn't really help. I mean, she kind of helped. I mean, the only thing she helps us helps you with is is the fact that she like just like takes the attention of the other uh trainers and then they attack her and not you that's the only thing only thing that uh, actually benefits you in these battles with cheryl but um okay so yeah they're they're targeting her so there we go this is good now they're not targeting me and then, then i can just attack them but there we go so i was able to defeat the worm pull and now they're sending out a beauty fly here so let's see, I guess I'll just use another uh, Ember, or actually I'll do it on Pachirisu now. Cause is still there, okay. There you go, good, it's burned. Yes, it's burned. Yes, it's burned. Good, now it's gonna just keep on taking damage. Okay. Chance is using a Sweet Kiss on Beauty Fly. Okay, that just makes it confused, right? Yeah, that's just confusion. Okay. Gust. Good, they're just targeting on Chansey. <laughs> they're not even paying attention to me. Good, this is good, this is a good thing. Yeah, just use Ember now on Beauty Fly. Yes. Boom, Beauty Fly's gone. Super effective attack. There we go. It's gone, and okay, so now we can learn a, a new move. Okay, Flame Wheel. Yes, definitely be learning Flame Wheel. I know exactly what I want to forget. I want to forget about Fury Swipes, because... Fury Swipes, I don't really find to be helpful. I'm going to get rid of Fury Swipes and get Flame Wheel. Flame, Reel, F Flame Wheel is really cool. I really like Flame Wheel. Yes, I like Flame Wheel. I love it. It's such a great move. I love Flame Wheel. Yes, this is great. Okay. And on top of that, everyone's leveling up. This is really good. Okay. Good. Everyone's leveling up. Nice. Okay. Now. Pachirisu. Pachirisu was still here. He was here at the beginning of the battle, and I've just not paid attention to Pachirisu. Yeah, okay. I mean, Tansy is kind of just, like, bombarding Pachirisu, but it's not, like, killing it, because Tansy's not going to be really powerful against Pachirisu. But luckily, my burn is still affecting Pachirisu, which is really good. And okay, now there's a Silcoon coming out. Uh, you know what? I'm actually just going to use my flame wheel now. Test it out. And there we go. It's awesome. I love it. And Silcoon fainted. Yeah. 
So there we go. I mean, I still haven't done anything with Pachirisu, but I knew Silcoon would go down pretty easily from that flame wheel, so I wanted to do that. And I think is the last one standing, right? It was there in the beginning, and it's going to be there in the end. So, yeah, it's going down now, though. It can't stay there for much longer. Yeah, it's just getting hurt by its burn now. And now my flame wheel will destroy you, Pachirisu! Yes, you have been defeated. Yay! I win and I get money! Yes! Yes, I have defeated you. And, okay, oh, this is a, like, potion. Okay, paralyzed heal. Okay, good. Yeah, if I get paralyzed, then I can use that. Okay, and now I found a Silcoon. And I'm gonna go ahead and catch that with the Pokeball. And there we go. So yeah, because there's a lot of good Pokemon out in this forest. So I wanted to catch those guys. Okay, there we go. And this is a bug type. I'm probably just gonna send this guy to a box. I don't think it's gonna come in handy anytime soon. I mean, I guess we could see its moves. What are its moves? Yeah, it has one move. It has one move. One normal type move, which is hard. It does. It can't actually hurt anyone. It literally can't hurt anyone. Hard is just to protect itself. It literally cannot hurt anyone. It's helpless. It's a helpless Pokemon. Yeah, that that's a yeah. Definitely, that, I'm sending that to a box. I don't ever want to use that Pokemon. It's a terrible pull. I mean, if I actually sent it to my party, you would learn some moves, but I don't want to deal with it right now. I already have Magic Carp that I was actually trying to, you know, work on, but then I got rid of it because there's so many other Pokemon I need to use right now. But, um, okay, I'm actually gonna, um, swap out Epona for, um, a Luxio or, or a Nick, or, uh, sorry, not Luxio, <laughs> Staravia. Um,. You can see I'm using Staravia because I don't want my attacks to be too effective against Baneri. Because I want to catch Baneri now. So, yeah. So, I'm just going to continue to uh, attack it until it gets to a, a good health. I, I, actually, yeah, it's, it's, it's already almost dead. It's almost dead. See, like at this point, you could see how that it could, that Chansey could easily kill it, right? So... That's when it gets annoying. Like, you're about to catch the Pokemon and then it dies. Like, yeah. So that's why Cheryl can be kind of annoying. But luckily she didn't do it. So that's a good thing. And, okay, Baneri is going to be added to the Pokedex. Um, I'm not going to give it a nickname. Uh, so, okay, and this is his moves as Splash, Pound, Defense Curl, Baby Doll Eyes. Okay, I think I'm going to send this guy to a box because it can't really help me right now i'm gonna send it to a box and um i think we're nearing the end of the forest now i don't think there's much else that we uh are to have to do here i think we're almost there and oh there's a there's a okay so i've i i already uh caught a boodoo but have i caught a worm pull yet i don't even, i don't even remember it's hard to keep track of this stuff I think I, I don't think I caught a Wurmple yet. I think I should try and catch a Wurmple now. So, all right, let's use Flame Wheel and just get rid of Voodoo. And then we can attack Wurmple. So there we go. Okay, okay so Wurmple's gonna just target Chansey. And now we can catch it in a Pokeball. Very nice. Okay. Nice. And it's cut. All right. Okay, so, oh, it has, a, it has a poison move, so that could be helpful. And as much as I want to, um, actually, yeah, I should actually swap it out, you know? Yeah, I, I should swap it. But swap swap it out with two. I, I don't know. Um, by the way, yeah, I, I also, uh, as you can see, I brought back Sidon, so I got rid of Staravia again. Now that it evolved, I kind of got rid of it again. And I'm just waiting for Magikarp to evolve into a Gyarados pretty much and you know i wanted to learn more moves as well but um anyway so yeah i, I didn't add wormhole to my party by the way but uh, okay so um so now cheryl's now thanking us for um getting her through the forest because she wanted to go with us and now we're able to help her get through the forest so there we go um and now we're i think we're almost at uh eterna city now we're just, we're just there's just a little bit more we have to do 
I think these fishermen can give us such, uh, um, Pokemon battles, right? Yeah, here we go. Pokemon battle. All right, I think they're all gonna be like, they're all gonna be like water, water type Pokemon, right? Yeah, maybe I should like, I don't know, I should, I might, I should, I should have maybe switched to Luxio before this, but okay. That's fine, I mean, the, the smart thing to do it would be to use Luxio and do his electric type moves, but I think I can do this with Epona. Yeah, there we go. I mean, it's not gonna kill him instantly, but it's gonna do a good amount of damage. I used Peck. Super effective, but it actually barely hurt me. There's another Mach Punch. There we go. Goldeen is defeated. And the, this trainer is also defeated, because that was the only Pokemon he had, a Goldeen. And uh, you, okay, what, what, what Pokemon do you have? Oh, this guy has six Pokemon. He has the same Pokemon as I, he has the same amount of Pokemon as I do. Okay, all right, you send out a Magikarp. Well, I mean, you know what? I, I really I, I really should switch to Luxio, especially since this guy has six Pokemon. They're probably like all water types. You know what? I'm gonna switch out to Luxio because Luxio is gonna have some really effective electric type attacks. This is gonna be good. You can do this. Okay, you're gonna need a splash. Oh wait, yes, yeah, splash doesn't even work. We're on, it's we're on land. You can't hurt us on land, but there's no water. There's no water to even like, there's no water to make a splash on us. Yeah, you're gone. I just used spark. You're gone. All right, who's next? Who are you using next? Another, another magic carp? I'm just gonna annihilate it with a thunder shock. I'm just gonna annihilate all your magic carps. You shouldn't use magic carps anymore. What's next? Another Magikarp? Fine, I'm gonna just blast through Magikarps. Uh, okay, what? Another Magikarp? How many Magikarps does this guy have? Is, is all of his Pokemon just Magikarps? If it is, then I'm, I don't need, I never needed to switch to Luxio. <laughs> These trainers are not strong at all. <laughs> don't you realize they can't hurt me? I'm just going through all of his Pokemon. All right, you know what? You just, I'm, I'm just gonna like go through all of yours. Yeah, all your Pokemon are defeated now because you decided to have a bad strategy by using Magikarp on land. And then you like just, you shouldn't catch so many Magikarp. Like Magikarp are like the weakest Pokemon in the whole game um, uh, until they evolve. But I don't think your Magikarp's gonna evolve. Uh, okay, here we go. What, 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 what Pokemon do you have? Another Magikarp? Okay. <laughs> Alright, Magikarp. I'm just gonna switch to Luxio because it can kill him in one hit. Because these guys are a waste of my time. They're too easy. Okay, I'm just gonna switch switch out to an electric type Pokemon. So there we go, we've got Luxio. I actually nicknamed it Pikachu because, you know, it's an electric type. It looks a little like, I mean, it doesn't look like Pikachu, but he has, you know, he's on four legs and it like, kind of looks, I don't know. Has a tail, so I nicknamed it Pikachu, but it's really Luxio. It's the evolved form of Shinx. So there we go. Another Magikarp is gone. Now finally another Pokemon besides Magikarp. We're gonna fight a Goldeen here. I've barely taken any damage. The only damage was in like the first the first guy used that peck attack on me with a Goldeen. But that's only because I switched uh, Pokemon and then he had a chance to attack me. But that was it. So it's actually like really like this this battle like if i had not switched my pokemon watch well, no if i if i yeah if i had not switched my pokemon i probably would have taken damage but um yeah like i, I only took like one attack of damage and that was it so this is a very easy a bunch of battles and there we go another magic carp i'm just gonna annihilate your magic carps have you not figured that out yet <laughs> i'm just gonna destroy your magic carps yes my electric type Pokemon are too powerful for your water type Pokemon. And I made it to Eterna City! Yay! I made it to Eterna City! And oh, there's a Team Galactic member! Okay, oh, he's, le he's, letting, it he's, he's letting us off! You look tough! I won't take him, um, I'll just let you keep your Pokemon. Carry on. Okay, I mean, you seem to be scared of me. Okay, I don't know why, but okay. Okay, okay, this is another Pokemon trainer that we're gonna meet. So, oh, is that a Pokedex? You must be helping Professor Rowan. What's your name? Oh, hello, Link. I'll be sure to remember that name. My name is Cynthia. I'm a trainer just like you. I've been studying Pokemon mythology lately. 
Okay. Here in Eternal City, there is a statue of an ancient Pokemon. Okay. According to myth, it was an extremely powerful Pokemon. Okay. Who knows? You may encounter something like the, it, it, while you're traveling. Okay, yeah, okay. You know what? Okay, I got it. Got it. Got it. Thank you. Oh, cut in the hidden moves that allow you to chop down small trees blocking your way. Yeah, nice. Now we can chop down those trees. Okay. There we go. So there we go. So now we're able to chop down these trees with that hidden move. Um, but yeah, but for now, guys, thank you so much for watching. Because it's going to be about the end of the episode. Actually, you know, before we end the episode, actually, I want to do something really quickly. I want to go to the statue of the ancient Pokemon before we end the episode. So, they say long ago, this was an, a, po a Pokemon that lived long ago. Okay. And there is some writing on the Pokemon statue. Dia, once created, brought into this world in laughter or tears. And, uh, okay, I cannot, I, I can't, sorry, I can't see that because of my editing software is blocking it with this volume control thing. So, unfortunately, I can't really see what it said. But you're able to see it on your screen. But, okay. So, there we go. Okay, this, oh, looks like there's a, oh, oh a new Pokemon, a new Pokemon. <laughs> for a second, I, like, didn't have any words. <laughs> I forgot, I was out of words for a second. But, okay. So, this is a Metadite. So, yeah, we haven't caught this Pokemon yet, so let's catch it then. So, it's at less than half health. So, there we go. The last catch of the episode. Yes, there we go. And it is caught. Yes, we caught a Metadite. There we go. Very good, very good, okay. And it's a Fighting Psychic, I like this guy. And okay, should we give it, should we give it a nickname? You know what, why not? Let's name it Eskew. And if anyone has played Metroid Dread on the Nintendo Switch, then you will know who Eskew is. He's one of the bosses in the game. And he has these cool, like, psychic, you know, attacks. Like, these psychic missiles. Then he has this, like, psychic shield. I don't know. It kind of reminds me of psychic abilities from Pokemon. So that's why I'm calling him Eskew. And I'm going to see his moves. Actually, no, I, not, I mean, he's here. I mean, you know what? I'm, I'm not going to see his moves, though. Because, um, yeah, I think I already saw his moves a little while ago. I think I edited it out. But, okay, um, anyway, yeah, but um, as, as cool as he is, I'm not going to actually use him yet because he can't really help me at the moment. But for now, I want to thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, please press a like. If you love the video, you can subscribe so you can see more of my videos. You can be notified every time I upload a video. Or turn on notifications. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you all later in another episode of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you later in the next episode where we most likely take on the next gym leader. So, until then, thanks so much for watching, and I hope you're excited for the next episode.